All right, DVW fam, so as you guys can see, there's a big barn behind me. You might think we're in Texas or somewhere in the south, but we are not. We're actually still in Las Vegas, so today we're gonna show you guys around L2 Texas Barbecue here in Las Vegas. They have an amazing all-you-can-eat barbecue deal, and I know you guys love buffets in Vegas, so let's go inside and take a tour of L2 Texas Barbecue. Let's go. Wow, that's a lot of barbecue, y'all. There you go. Right. Appreciate you, Lawrence. All right, thank, thank you. you, and enjoy. All right, y'all, so we're at L2 Texas Barbecue in Las Vegas right now. So they offer an all-you-can-eat barbecue deal. It's $33.99, up to five plates and a one-hour limit. But guys, Chef Larry gave us a little rundown on everything. This looks crazy. I can't wait to try these fried ribs. I've never had fried ribs before. This is kind of like a interesting thing that they have here. So without further ado, Let's try it out. Mm. Guys, that is so crunchy. You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of like the Chinese pork chops, but it's much fattier because it's a rib. Ooh, it is so good. Mm. Guys, these fried pork ribs. First time I had fried pork ribs and they are fire, super juicy, fatty. Like I said, it kind of tastes like a pork chop, but extra fattier. It is crazy, guys. Mm. All right, let's try some of the barbecue sauce. So this one is the regular barbecue sauce. Mm. Really thick, a little bit sweet, tangy, mesquite. Mm. Let's try these mac and cheese. I love mac and cheese as a side. Slightly peppery, really cheesy. Mm. Can't have Texas barbecue without good brisket, right? Let's try it out. Ooh, very tender, fell off of my fork. Let's try it out. Mm. So I personally asked for a leaner cut today rather than a fattier one and it's nice and tender, very soft. Just breaks apart in my mouth. Mm -hmm. Gotta use barbecue sauce for brisket though. So we're gonna try the sweet barbecue sauce on this one. Mm. That one is a bit sweeter but on that second bite of the brisket I can really taste the pepper rub and like the smokiness of the brisket. Ooh. All right, let's try this. Okra. I've actually never had okra before, but apparently it is like uh, a vegetable and it's like deep fried. Let's check it out. Mmm, really crunchy. Almost reminds me of like a deep fried zucchini, but in small pieces. Mmm. When they brought this chicken leg out, it looked really juicy. It's just dripping right here. You see that? I'm gonna take a bite. Ooh, I'm trying to take a huge bite of this. You ready? Mmm. Mmm. Ooh, that's so tender, the skin, nice and sweet. This is a really good chicken leg. Mmm. Fire, it has a little bit of that sweet barbecue sauce on there. It's like a nice sweet chicken leg. This is banging, y'all. Ooh, you can tell a good chicken leg just by the skin that's layering on it. Skin is nice and flavorful. Mm-hmm. Mmm. I know you saw that. A quick aside, if you guys are digging my fit right now, these are the new first class trunks from Cuts. They are also swim shorts, but you could kind of wear them anywhere. Usually when it's the summertime and the weather's hot, and in Vegas it is very hot right now, about 99 degrees. This is the Cuts curved hem in blue, and uh, the first class trunks. So if you guys want to cop your own Cuts fit, code is DVW10, link down below. Back to the video. Let's move on to the pulled pork right here, y'all. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Mm. Nice and tender. Has a nice sweet barbecue glaze on top. That's all you need from pulled pork for it to be nice and flavorful and tender. I hate pulled pork to be dry. Let's try some french fries right here. Mmm. Ooh. Love thick steak fries with a little bit of seasoning on the outside. Oh, nice and crispy. Mm. Comment down below what kind of fries you guys like. Shoesting fries, steak fries, regular fries, crisscross fries, curly fries. Let me know. Let's try some of this sausage right here, jalapeno 
cheddar sausage. Mmm. Mmm. Ooh, really smoky. There's a lot of herbs in there, and the cheddar has a little bit of spice, but then, like, when it pops. When you're chewing on it, it kind of pops in your mouth, and, like, juices just squirt in your mouth when you're chewing on the sausage. Pause. Mmm. Ooh, so we tried the fried ribs. Let's try the regular spare ribs right here. Mmm. I didn't even need to bite that. I could poke it with my tongue and it'll move off the bone. That's how tender it is. Ooh. Didn't even need to bite it. Didn't even need to chew it. Ooh. So tender. Super juicy. I love my ribs. Fall off the bone. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Nice sweet baked beans. Nice to cleanse the palate. All right, let's try the fried catfish. Kind of like a rare dish at a barbecue spot. Haven't really seen a lot of catfish at many barbecue spots I've been to. Mmm. Wow. Love all the fried dishes here so far. It's really crispy and crunchy. This is like the crispiest. Ooh. And the fish inside is really flaky. I actually really like catfish. We use it a lot in Vietnamese cuisine. That's super crispy, almost like a chip. And I really like the rub on the outside, a little bit salty. We got some potato salad right here, coleslaw. We got some cornbread here for us. Mmm. Ooh, really flaky on top. A little bit of crisp and spongy on the inside. A little bit sweet too. Mm -hmm. Alright y'all, so just went in on all that barbecue, but we had to get some rice. Me and uh, the homie Larry over there, we are talking how you know Asians love eating rice with everything, so we had to have some dirty rice on the menu. So if you guys don't know what dirty rice is, they basically throw the rice on the floor, pick it up, put it in a bowl. Just kidding. But yeah, let's try out the dirty rice. Mmm. It's all herbs and seasoning throughout the rice, a lot of flavor. Just little pieces of, I believe it to be brisket, some type of meat in here. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of like Mexican rice or like Indian rice. It's just a lot of flavor in here, but yeah. Always love having my meat items with rice. Mm -hmm. My favorite dishes here, definitely the fried ribs. Like I said, haven't been anywhere in Vegas where they offer fried ribs. They're just super juicy on the inside, crunchy on the outside. I love fried items and it was delicious. Really like the baby back ribs too, fall off the bone, and the baked chicken legs, but everything else, great barbecue. So let's move on to the dessert. They got a sweetened apple tea here too. It's kind of like a little switch up usually. There's like sweetened peach tea, but this is apple tea. So I'm gonna wash down the barbecue with this. Mm, nice mild sweetness with a hint of apple. Refreshing. All right, so just finished our all you can eat barbecue meal, but you know how the saying goes, doesn't matter how full you are, there's always room for dessert. So we got the peach cobbler right here. Looks delicious. The plate is nice and hot, so whew, let's just try it out. Let's get a nice piece of the cobbler. Get a nice scoop of the ice cream. Mmm. Oh my gosh. I love my hot and cold desserts. It's a nice sprinkle of cinnamon on top, some powdered sugar, but ooh. Look how hot it is, it's still steaming. Gonna neutralize it with the ice cream. Mmm. That is delicious, y'all. Guys, this is fire. I love the caramelized peaches on here and the cobbler. Goes so well with the ice cream. Like I said, I love my hot and cold desserts. It's kind of like a pizuki. You get the nice baked heat on the bottom and then with the ice cream. Mm hmm. Mmm. Got the bread pudding right here. Oof, looks magnificent. Let's just go in on it. Let's try this out right here. Mmm. Wow. Ooh, the bread pudding is so soft and spongy. Hot. Really hot, but then, like I said, the cold ice cream just neutralizes the heat. Kind of like in a pizzuki and a lot of chocolate caramel drizzle on there. There's some white chocolate sauce on the bottom. Ooh. Mmm. Fire. Love bread pudding. That's where the chocolate's coming from. There's like little chocolate chips on this bread pudding. Yeah. The bread, very soft on the inside. And hot. Look, it's still steaming with the ice cream on it. Mm-hmm. The dessert is included on the all-you-can-eat menu. That's crazy. This is a really good dessert for an all-you-can-eat. So $33.99. I'll say this is a steal, guys. One of the best deals I would say if you could eat a lot. If you'll get your money's worth, you get like 
two or three plays and those are more than worth your money. Definitely would recommend L2 Barbecue for their all you can eat special. And guys, get their fried ribs. So, DW score, 10 out of 10 for here. Mm -hmm. It's crazy, this is like a full on barbecue restaurant, but they even have a drive through right here if you guys wanna just get your ribs and brisket to go. All right, y'all, I'm stuffed. Just left L2 Barbecue. It was a success. I feel like I took a little field trip, got transported to like a little Texas smokehouse, roadhouse. But guys, believe me, we're still in Vegas. If you guys like this video, want to see more Vegas, all you can eat videos, please like it. Comment down below if you have any suggestions for us and subscribe for more DVW videos. Deuces.